The fifth and final season of The Last Kingdom aired earlier this year, and whilst there isn't going to be another season, fans can still look forward to The Last Kingdom movie to round off the series nicely. However, during season five, one star wasn't particularly happy with filming one of his scenes. Today, we are discussing The Last Kingdom's King Edward star, Timothy Ennis, not wanting to do one pivotal scene, don't go anywhere. First of all, how did season five end? Stick around to find out. As we have seen since the show first started, decades have now passed since Uhtred won back his ancestral lands, but his home was again part of the setting for the pivotal season 5 finale. Ethelhelm, as we know, is using Uhtred's home as a base for his nefarious activities and is also planning on wedding off Princess Elfwyn to King Constantine against her will. Of course, he would greatly benefit from this arrangement, but King Edward has other plans, sending Uhtred to resume her seeing as he knows this era pretty well. Uhtred infiltrates the fort but is quickly found out. I mean, did he turn up with a pretty big crew? So it was probably always going to turn out that way. Haston then, quite out of character, sacrificed himself for the good of the gang, with King Edward then turning up with a pretty sizable army, which brought about a pretty big battle. Edward is forced onto the edge of a cliff where many of his men die, but the king is saved by Uhtred's timely appearance. Uhtred then heads off to murder Witgar and claim back his land, whilst Ethelhelm decides the best thing for everyone is to off himself. Bravo, Sir King Constantine then comes to terms with Uhtred, with Northumbria staying independent, whilst Uhtred also points out that no one trusts him enough to unite the country. What do you guys make of season 5 finale? So what about this Timothy Ennis business? Let's discuss. There was one key scene in the later stages of season 5 five in which series regular Timothy Ennis didn't actually want to do his job. Of course, there is set to be an upcoming movie called Seven Kings Must Die, so he could be set out to lose his head anyway. But during the season five scene, Ennis revealed that he wasn't too fond of what his character was being asked to do. In the episode, Edward suggests giving Alfwyn to Constantine to split Northumbria in two, which of course turns Uhtred and the gang against him. And Ennis explained that the dramatic change for his character, which came at the end of episode episode 8 was really, really horrible to play, even comparing Uhtred and his band of men to the Avengers. Ennis then went on to say that you just have all the characters turning against you, and you're just the single guy. The scene itself makes Edward out to be a bit of a coward, which Uhtred jumps on straight away, calling him out for cowardice. Of course, Uhtred's boys back him up with Eldham refusing to give Alfwyn up and Edward's own son showing utter disdain for his father. And he went on to say, that when he first read the scene, he was mortified, thinking, I don't agree with this, to himself. He went on to say, I read it and put the script down in my room and was like, that's not what I've been playing. Wow, what else did Timothy have to say? Well, the King Edward actor spoke of how shocked he was at his character's U-turn, which came as a complete surprise as up until that point, he had shown some pretty solid values as well as being brave and assertive. Ennis went on to say, my whole objective has been to reunite the kingdoms of Al Alfred wanted, and this is just going against the whole thing, before going on to explain that he had to really sit down and digest what was being asked of him, as he wasn't completely sure straight away that he could actually do it. But as unhappy as he initially was, he did eventually come around to the idea and even credited the writer for being confident enough to go with such a dramatic plot twist. And Martha Hillier, who actually wrote the scene, was credited by Ennis as being a genius, whilst he also acknowledged that she wrote the scene for a reason. Once he finally got over his own ego, as he put it, he was able to empathize with the situation and revealed how he went to the character's ego and found that part, which was good because it took like three and a half days to film. Of course, he was able to get over the shock and perform the seams with a palm, which set up the movie really quite brilliantly. What did you guys make of King Edward's change of heart? Let us know below. Next up, what's up with the movie? Stay tuned to find all about that. As of right now, not much is known about the plot, but we can probably expect it to tie up any loose ends for Uhtred and the gang. We know he won back Bebenburg and there is a tentative peace in the kingdom, but we can probably expect the precarious situation to explode into war once the movie finally drops. I mean, it is called Seven Kings Must Die, which kind of suggests there will be plenty of war and betrayal. Will Uhtred himself be betrayed by another Wessex king? We can probably assume he will be 
at the heart of shaping England by whatever means necessary, but being back in Bebenburg, he probably had designs on a quiet life. But as we have seen, both monarchs believe their land is there, so we can probably expect this storyline to be the basis of the movie once it rolls around. And what about Osbert? We hadn't seen him for ages, but he popped up in season 5 finale, which probably means he has a role to play in the upcoming movie. We can also probably expect Finian and Cedric to appear in the movie as well as the Wessex Royals. And whilst the regular gang is all set to reappear, we can probably also assume there will be a few new characters popping up to mix things up in Seven Kings Must Die. Are you looking forward to the new movie? Alexander Draymond has spoken about Innes now. Stay with us. Draymond, of course, stars as our beloved Uhtred on Babenberg on the hit Netflix show, and he has recently been explaining what the most difficult scene was to film. Of course, the show has rocketed up the Netflix ranks this year, thanks largely to the stellar acting. Draymond actually spent time behind the camera throughout season 5 and directed a few of the episodes, and he explained that one scene in particular was pretty difficult to film, basically due to how long it took to actually get it right. He explained that the cast and crew nicknamed the scene Tim's Play, after King Edward actor Timothy Innes, who was central to the scene. Draymond said, We called it Tim's Play. It was a scene we shot over a couple days. It just seemed to never end. He was sitting on this throne and everybody was staged around him. It became Tim's Play. And Mark Rowley, who stars as Finian on the period drama, also credited Innes saying they probably shot the scene about 50 times easy, if not more. He was on it all the time. Draymond went on to say how difficult the scene was because Tim had to get mad every time the scene was filmed, which must have been pretty difficult. And Eliza Butterworth, who plays Ellsworth, was credited to King Edward actor saying, He was fabulous, he did the most stunning job, and we must have shot it a million times. What did you guys make of Tim's play? And finally, Draymond has also caught some praise from a fellow co-star. Eliza Butterworth has heaped a ton of praise on her fellow actor, Alexander Draymond, Raymond following a superb season 5 finale. The actress, who has really come to the fore during her stint on The Last Kingdom, suggested that Draymond was actually one of the best actors she's ever seen, referring to him as the most sensational actor. And of course, the German actor who plays our heroic Uhtred can seemingly do anything he sets his mind to, which Butterworth herself acknowledged when she said, I was watching every episode and going, what can he not do? Because when he feels the feels, he feels feels the feels and you feel it with him. She went on to explain that after all his character has experienced, he is still able to play the part with compassion, going on to claim that Draymond blows her away. She also gave him props for the way he conducts himself behind the camera, praising him for being so active in the entire story. And we agree, he is great as Uhtred of Bebenberg. What do you guys think of Draymond? As usual, thanks for dropping in today and remember to join us next time when we will be discussing loads of different bits and pieces. And why not share today's video with any of the Last Kingdom fans you might know of, whilst also subscribing to our channel. Bye guys!